What's up everyone, Movie Mania Nick here, and no, this is not another movie review. I am here at the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art here in Salisbury, Maryland. This is actually a bird museum. Um, I think this museum holds mostly stuffed birds. Now, maybe there's some live birds, I don't know. This is the first time I've been, been here, so... Let's go in here, take a look, and see what's inside, and have some fun. Let's do this. Also, I don't know if they allow video or picture taking, so I will let you guys know later. Those guys also in this museum, they have a bunch of paintings too, artwork. Also guys, check this out, especially for Jacob the carpet bagger. They actually have quilts. I know how Jacob loves his quilts. This quilt is huge. Alright guys, so I'm walking in here and this is basically showing the early settlers. basically what I was told there's no stuffed animals it's basically wood carvings and art pieces oh, you guys can hear in the background there you have uh, sound effects of ducks and geeses And here, of course, you're going to see some guns here too, artifacts, because it's going to tell you the history of duck hunting and everything else about that. And there's another gun here with the the bullets, because you have to realize back then this is this is the way of food back then of the early settlers. This is how they hunted and gathered their food. I know a little history of how, you know, duck hunters, they, they made wooden ducks, as you can see here, to lure the real ducks in.
I know dogs were a big impact for duck hunting too. They'd shoot it down, then the dogs would go and retrieve the ducks. You read this, and then I'm going to show you the statue of the dog. It actually looks like they have a little video room here. So here's the button to start the video. And here's the room. All the kids here. If the kids come in, they get a little playing area for the kids. And this is it. There's the screen. There's your sitting area. And I got some information here on the wall. Very interesting. There's a projector up there. And they're definitely miniature. I mean, look, look at these right here. How small they are. These are all decoys. All right, so we're gonna enter this room now. Now look at this room. It has some pictures on the wall. They have a lot of wood carvings and cases. Let's check this out. Sorry for the glare, guys. Just the way the lighting is. There's some more artwork on the wall. So basically what you're going to see here is basically um, wooden ducks carved by Lemuel, 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 I don't know how you pronounce that, T, and Stephen Ward, the Ward brothers. So these are from 1916 to 1932. As you can see, 1932 to 1945. And 1945 to 1950. This here was made in 1975. As you can see from start, these are ducks heads to finish. See, I was at line 1975. There's all the early editions or early makings of wood carvings of ducks, geese, 
and it's either just for fun wood carving or decoys. This place is very well themed, I, I tell you. It's very nice. Here's just some of the tools that they used. It looks like a hammer hatchet. And there's just some more of the tools hanging up on the wall that was used in carving. And there's the workbench, the chair for carving the ducks and painting them. And here are some photos and pictures and artwork of Lemuel and Steve Ward. I'm not going to show you everything that's in here because if you're here around town and you want to visit this place, I mean, there's a lot to see in here. So I don't want to give it all away. And there they are working. And there's the chair and the desk I just showed you. Now in this room here, guys, this actually shows the different um, states, counties, of the different wooden ducks they used and were carved in. I'm not gonna show you everything here, but the, like I said, you can see like the outer ridges of the Pacific and California, Minnesota, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, just different states, counties, and regions of the states of these ducks that were carved. I'll show you a little clip right here. I'll just do a quick walkthrough so you can see. As you can see, the different regions, the states, the counties of the wooden ducks that were carved. So, guys, this gentleman right here, Henry A. Fleckenstein Jr. He was basically a collector of the decoys and the wooden ducks and everything. So that's him right there. And if you want to read it, here it is. Screenshot it, read it. And of course, if you're good at your craftsmanship, um, they had a world championship carving competition. So I'm just gonna show you a few that's around. Check this thing out. This this is pretty cool. You have three birds in one. Check this one out, guys. It's like it's it's made of metal. Like half of it's completed and half of it, as you can see by the wing here. It's it's all metal. That's pretty cool. So these here are the world champion floating decorative life-size warfowl pairs. From the 1970s. Here's your 1980s and 1990s.
All right, guys, that'll do it for me here at the Ward Museum of Wild Fowl and Art here in Salisbury, Maryland. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a very nice place. The lady inside was very nice, very helpful. Um, it's very, I felt very safe in there. You have to wear a mask, as you can see. They have tons and tons of hand sanitizer everywhere. There's a lot of, and excuse if I said before, if it was stuffed animals. It's not stuffed animals. There's no live uh, birds. It's basically wood carvings, artwork of birds, uh, and that kind of nature. So if you're ever in town or around the area, I rec highly recommend to check this place out. Like I said, the woman inside was very nice, very helpful. This is in Salisbury, Maryland, right by Salisbury University, about maybe about 15 minutes away. Uh, so if you're ever in town, check it out. It's a good place. If, you, if you're into the birds, uh, wood carving, or artwork of birds, check this place out. I highly recommend it, like I said. So with that being said, uh, smash that like button, support, share. Hit that notification bell and notify you my next video or vlog will be up. Also, check me out on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mania Nick. And remember, stay safe. Be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes. Of course, I had to pick up a little gift at the gift shop they have inside. Uh, I picked up this magnet. So here it is.